Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm super excited to do my Finish 5 by Fall finale. If you missed the rest of the updates and the intro from this project, I'll go ahead and throw that up in the cards if you'd like to catch up before this finale. And then before we jump into the products and my progress on them, I hope if you haven't already, you would consider subscribing and hitting the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. So like I said, I'm super excited. I finished four out of the five products, totally. So let me show you first the foundation that I was using. The first product is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. This is one of my holy grail foundations ever. I love the packaging because it was a squeezy tube that had a little pump on the end. After I could no longer pump out the foundation, I cut the tube open. And as you can see, there is no more foundation in here. I scraped the entire thing out. I love this foundation. Like I said, it is one of my holy grails ever. The only thing that I didn't like about this is that the shade that I had, it was a perfect shade match when I bought it, you know, a summer ago when I was actually outside and I tanned a bit. This is this was too dark for me. So I did have to constantly lighten it or mix it with other foundations in order to get the shade to match me better. I would 100% buy this again in a lighter shade. I do wanna test out some other foundations in my collection, pan a couple more. But this is one that's definitely on my list to rebuy at some point in the future. I will have this one again. The next product I completely used up is not a surprise because I showed this in my last update. This is the ColourPop No Filter Pressed Powder in Light. I said in that update I wasn't sure if this was just like product on the pan, but as you can see you really can't get any product off of it. So I've totally used up the powder. If you missed my video where I talk about this powder, I'll link it, but... In that video, I said this was like the only part of the ColourPop like filter complexion line that I actually liked, but after testing it out more and actually looking at how much product you're getting, I panned this too quickly. There are other face powders, even from the drugstore, even cheaper than this, that you can get that are better and cheaper, that you don't have to pay for shipping, but you can get in a drugstore. Like I'm saying, I'm not a huge fan of the entire ColourPop complexion line. For me, unfortunately, it was a gigantic flop. The next product I totally used up, it's not totally used up, but like part of the product that I'm using for the project is used up, and it's the first time I've actually finished at least part of a highlighter. So this is my Fenty highlighter. This is the duo in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal, and I totally used up Lightning Dust completely. This I think was the most exciting thing to finish because I've never finished a highlighter. Highlighter, blush, those are some things that are super hard to A, hit pan on, and B, actually finish. So I was so proud of myself for finishing this. I do want to at some point pan the other side, fire crystal, but not right now. I am going to move this back into my collection and bring out some other highlighters that I've been neglecting since I've been panning this. But, ah, uh, like I said, I think this is like the highlight of the project, was actually finishing a highlight. The last product that I totally used up was the Rose, blah blah blah, let's get the name right, Monica, was the Sugar Rose Tinted Lip Treatment. Now I'm going to twist this all the way up and it's empty. I can't really get the camera to focus on the inside, but this is with it all the way twisted up and there's actually still a lot of product like within the tube, so I did scrape out the entire tube to get everything out. I really liked the routine of having a lip balm on my bedside table, using it every night and every morning. Would I recommend you pay the exorbitant price for one of the fresh ones? No, not really. It's like I said, it's just a fancy chapstick. Get yourself a chapstick. It does basically the same thing. <laughs> but I'm very proud of myself that I used this little sample up. And this is a sample and it lasted me a long time. Like, you know, I don't think anyone really needs a full size of one of these. So the last product in my project was a paint pot from MAC and Soft Ochre, and unfortunately I wasn't able to finish this one, but I did make a lot of progress on it. So as you can see, like along the edges, I've almost hit the very bottom of the pot, especially up here, you can kind of see a little bit of the bottom. But I think I might have been a little bit ambitious because this was more than halfway full when I started. And, you know, I gotta give them credit. Paint pots, if you, even if you use them every day, 
they last a long time and they are 100% worth the money. I 100% enjoy my MAC Paint Pots and I'm really excited to keep using this so I'm not discouraged at all that I didn't finish it in this project because I made so much other great progress on the other products. So I think I'm just going to carry this over and use it in my next project which is going to be premiering on my channel later today. So there we go, that's the end of my finished 5 by fall. I think it went really well. I'm not discouraged that I didn't finish one of the products. I'm just ecstatic that I finished five of the four of the five products. God, Monica, do your math. And I'm also ecstatic that some of the products, like I finished a foundation, like I finished a highlighter, a face powder, like these are awesome products to finish up and love and enjoy. So thank you so much for joining me for this project. Please give this a thumbs up if you like projects like this. And if you want to see any more, I hope you would consider subscribing and keep an eye out because at the end of the today, I will be showing my new project. I really like having like these smaller projects to work on, more like seasonal projects. So they'll definitely be staying on my channel. So thank you again for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.